Now you should be able to hear me, and I won't yell. <laughs> oh my gosh. Can you hear me now? I'm, now he's hosting me for 42 viewers, Astra. I just had some technical issues. Oh my gosh. I'm so, like, I'm all sweating now. <sighs> what a crazy, crazy, crazy day. I'm sorry, guys. I really um, had, like, I don't know what happened with OBS, whatever. I had to restart the computer. <laughs> yeah. I had to restart the computer. And for whatever reason, OBS was correctly configured this time. Don't know what happened. Just one of those blooper, blooper bloops, bloops. All right. Oh my gosh. Oh. And like, now I have to take a minute and like fan myself off because I'm all like sweating. I know it's just for life. <laughs> Whew. Okay. We are going to paint today. And thank you so much. First of all, thank you, Flickster, for that awesome host. 42 people or more, possibly, depending on who was able to stick around. I just want to thank everybody who is still here for bearing with me. You know, I have not had a technical issue this like this in this nature in a long time. So I really appreciate you guys. And yay, thank you so much. And give Clickster a follow if you haven't. He's one of my awesome people from uh, Triptych. Yeah, there was 112 in the raid. Uh. <laughs> Thank you guys. Hello, and I'm Shoshi, Shoshi's Minis, and I had like some kind of freak out, like uh, OBS issue right at the beginning of my stream, but we're back, and we have awesome things to paint. Let's show you what I've got. Oh my. All right, let's do the overhead. This is, oh, we need to adjust. So, so this is another thing. I've got to go adjust my lighting just a little bit so you'll, you're not going to have to be oh thank you so much jc alien pixels wait all right i'm going to be right back i'm going to go fix the lighting for this Okay, I think we're okay now. All right, this is Captain Ahab. We're painting this awesome bust for scale 75. And where's the gun? This is the gun that we started on the last time we painted here. Let me move my lighting just a minute. There we go. J. Sieve, Siva Lian Pixels. I know I'm going to need you to help me pronounce that. And hello, everybody. Okay, let me write that down. J. Siva. Leon. Sivalian. J. J. Sivalian. Paints. I think that's, I think I got it. Is that right? <laughs> Christopher Painting, R.G. Bauer, M. Miso 13, R.D. Wolf, uh, M. Lamunis, Flickster, Teviston, Super Sarah, everybody in chat, Nixon Minis, Lando the Archmage. Yay! Aw, Nixon Minis, thank you for the happy anniversary. Mike and I just celebrated on Sunday our, um, what, our third, well, 12th year married. All right, so we've been working on this. Oh, I want to show you guys something. Hold on one second. I totally forgot, and I don't want to forget this. I got a box opening to show you guys. Now, where did I put it? Oh, right here. Check this out. Have you guys heard of Big Child? They sent me some miniatures to show you guys. I'm going to probably be painting some of these eventually. If you've not heard of Big Child, check them out. Big Child Creatives. Let's show you these. They sent me... A whole bunch of busts. Look at this beautiful thing. Spirit of the Sky. It's a female pilot. Let's take a look at her. I just thought I would do this since I have these. Oh, my brush fell on the floor. Okay, there's the side of the plane. There's the seat. I think my mic, uh, sorry, Mike is a pilot, so I think he's really going to like this. I think it goes like this. Or like this. Ooh, I don't know. Let me look at the box. Oh yeah, just like that. 
Hmm. Oh. Yeah. And then this goes... I'm guessing she sits in there like that. Pretty cool. You had to re-host. Oh. <laughs> yes, I know. Unboxing is fun. Everybody likes them. Let's see what the other pieces in this kit look like. Oh my gosh, there's like a little strap for her for her hat. Oh my gosh, lots of pieces. There's some hair pieces. So hair and chin straps here, and here's another chin strap. And there's the steering wheel to her plane. And she's got two heads. Oh, awesome. Oh, wow. Is that a guy? Why does... One looks really like anime-like, and one looks um, more like a guy with long hair. That is, is that me or is that just guy face? Look at the difference. I don't know what to think. I don't want to insult the sculptor because maybe they're both girls. Which just, that's, uh, that would make a really attractive guy though. I know, <laughs> hi, Mr. Snowyak. Bangs, no bangs. Oh, true. But look at the difference between the eyes and the nose. Like the nose is big, the brow is big. That's a guy's brow. Um, yeah, I think this, this is a guy with really long hair. I don't know. I would paint that as a guy. <laughs> Serious and happy face. Yes. Right, it's strong jawline. Look at the other one, it's very soft. Look at how soft that is. Look at how hard that is. Look at the profile. This is a guy. It's a guy with long hair, with boobs. No, it can't be a guy, dang it. Okay, well, that's, that needs some work then, I think. Um. I don't know what to say now. I'm really embarrassed. I think uh, I just realized that some sculptors need need to think about things a little bit, I think, maybe. I don't know. Or maybe they need to sculpt more guys that have attractive features. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a woman <laughs> with, with a guy's bone structure. <laughs> Let's look at this one. Oh my gosh, this one's really cool. Iron Heart. She's beautiful. Let's see. Okay, so this one, he was telling me about this one. The cloak has texture, which makes it really nice and easy to paint. He's got a beautiful face. Now that's absolutely a, a female looking face. So, so great. And then she's got armored. I love the fact that she's completely armored without armor boobs. Do you know what I'm talking about? They always sculpt women with these metal boobs that would completely get her killed if she had them. There's her hands and that's holding her. I think she's got a sword. There it is. And it's a little bent. So I'm going to have to use a hairdryer to unbend it, but that's awesome. So yeah, so she's holding, let's see if I can put this somewhat together. Yeah, so she's going to be holding that with her hands. I love this. We will definitely have to paint that on stream at some point. These are all from Big Child. Big Child Creatives right there. And you can, you can, they're doing a Kickstarter very soon where they're going to have a whole bunch of cool stuff. Let's see. Speaking of, let's see. Here's another. So they're doing this big kick on um, like uh, Asia. Look at this beautiful samurai woman. Sword of Dawn. Yes, big, big child creatives. Oh, wow. Look at this one has a really cool background. So you, I can imagine doing some really neat freehand on that with the Asian clouds. That's beautiful. Very inspiring. Let's see. Oh, she's got two heads too. Let's look at them. Okay. Look at the difference between the heads. Now, this one could potentially be a male and a female. This one could be, because look, there's no chest parts. 
to get in our way. So that one could potentially be male or female, absolutely. Let's see what they look like on there. Oh yeah, that could be a young man. What do you think? With a very Asian face. I love that. And then, does there a spot for a top knot? And there's a stop spot for a top knot in hers. Let's see what she looks like. Beautiful. Gosh, I almost would want to like. I would almost want to like magnetize the heads because they're so cool. I maybe would want to get two. Hello, Lay Crasher. How are you? Let's see what some of these other parts look like. You like that one? You have that one? The, a the Kickstarter with the Asian-themed Orc Pirates is starting, and it's a really nice minis. Oh, very cool. Look at this hand. So detailed. This is what size? I think it's like one. Oh, look at the samurai sword. It's all wrapped up. <gasps> I love it. Oh, my gosh. Love it. Let's see if we can put that back in there. Otherwise, it's probably going to get broken. Looks like there's various parts to possibly have instead of a top knot. It looks like there's some kind of braid. Oh, that's cool. Look at this. Look at that. Let's see what that looks like. That could be on the guy to make him look more to make him look more masculine. Aloha Leah. Thank you for the follow. How are you? Let me see what it looks like on her. Oh man, that's awesome. It fits her better. That's so cool. There's a top knot and then there's a braid. And then there's shoulder pads. And I'm not real sure what these are. This looks like part of the arm maybe. Look at how detailed. There's little pox on this armor and then there's all this like etching and ty types of like I don't know what that would be called on them armor. I don't know enough about Asian armor. These are nice casts. You want the Sword of Dawn one to paint? Yeah. Aloha, Leah. Are you from Kauai by chance, or do you just happen to have a Hawaiian name? Night Valiant, thank you so much for the follow. Greetings and hello. Welcome. We're, we're doing a little box opening of this amazing samurai woman, or possibly man, depending on which head you choose. The eyes look about the same. The shape of the face is a little bit different. Let's look at the profiles. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, look at this. Is Look at that. That's some harder jawline. So, yeah. Interesting. And let's see what else. You're from New York, and the joke is everyone thinks you're from Hawaii since your name is Leah. Ah, okay, aloha. <laughs> I like it. Oh, this one is one of my, f I looked at this one earlier. You want them all? You gotta go look at the website. Okay, so this one's gonna be harder for me to show you guys, but the part I wanna, sh uh oh. What happened? I think I broke it. Uh oh. Yep, little pieces broke off. That wasn't like this when they shifted to me. It just must have crushed, gotten crushed because I put it like this. So this is like really cool resin water. And it looks like some of the some of the little pieces came off this side. But look how neat that is. So this is for this character. She's running. I don't know if it goes. I think it goes. Hold on. Ah! Right here, it's a skirted person. Let's see what it is. I didn't actually look at the model. Bondic, exactly. We'll just bondic it. Oh, look, there she's beautiful. She's like an orc. She's one of the Asian orc girls. Oh my gosh, whoa. She's running, um, she's definitely an orc pirate, like magician woman thing. Look how gorgeous. I love her shape. Wow. And there's a million pieces over here. There's a sword. There's her other foot. 
Hold on, let me get the leg here. So this leg goes in there. Ah, I see. Wow, I like she's so hippie. I love it. So curvy. <laughs> All right, I'm happy with this. She's got... Okay, so she could have a two-handed weapon. And then there's a sword that goes, I guess, on her side. She's got some more sash type stuff coming off. That's her sleeve. On the bright side, you doubt anyone will be able to tell if it's broken if I attach it. Right. Oh, look, two hair ponytail things. That's awesome. I definitely love this. We're, we have to at least put it together and, uh, and build it and see what happens. That'll be fun. We should do that soon. I feel like I need to start streaming more to keep up with all the extra minis that I'm getting these days. I think I might have to do that. I don't know. I'm really lazy, though, so I don't know. We'll see. I have to also have to compete with Flick and Jan for streaming spots, <laughs> so I don't want to stream over them. <laughs> all right, I'm going to put this back in gently so I don't break any more pieces off of the water. Here we go. Let's see if I can... Gently, gently. Nope. Doesn't want to be in there. There. Okay. And then I got one more. One more to show you guys. These beautiful models make you want to get better at painting. Yeah. Look at this is the orc dude. I have he's like super saiyan samurai dude. Whoa. Oh no. I just got paint all over everything. I'll just pitch that. All right, let's take a peek at what this guy is. The casts are fantastic. Oh, whoa. Dude, he is amazing. He's got a pipe. So he's smoking his little Manchurian pipe. Oh, I love him. He's fantastic. Let's look at all the texture. Got little holes in his robes and this must have a sword coming out of the side. Let's see if there's any swords back here. So there's a couple different weapons. Ponytail. Tassels. Awesome shoulder pads. Oh, love. And look at this. Ah, this is what's coming out of the back. This um, amazing fish scabbard. Because he's an orc pirate. Oh my goodness. Love that. And that goes, I guess, toward the back of his head. Rar. Probably one of the coolest models in the in the whole thing, don't you guys think? This one is my favorite. It's insane. You'll take them? <laughs> we may do giveaway. I think I want to build them at least. We'll see. We'll see. You were thinking that she looked great without being overly sexy, and then you saw the side boob. Oh, yeah, they always put that in, right? That's okay. When they have, like, impractical armor, that's when I really get annoyed. But, you know, what are we going to do? She's from their ongoing... Oh, he's she's from their ongoing Kickstarter. This guy must be from the Kickstarter as well. You, you want that dude? You're so jealous that I have him already? <laughs> well, they're obviously using me to hype this Kickstarter, so I would go over there and check it out. So this is from Big Child. Para Shoshi con cariño de José Manuel Palomares y todo el equipo de Big Child. Oh, that's so nice. Awesome. So I've got one other thing to show you guys. So you know that I have been complaining about male pinups forever, right? And we did eventually get my my Han Solo pinup. I think I showed you this guy, right? I'm not I'm only going to show you the artwork, but he's phenomenal. There's his booty back there. I will eventually paint him. I don't know if I can paint him on stream without some kind of sensor tag or something. I don't know how that would work. And then there's this guy. This was sculpted by Frozen Ninja. 
There's my Frozen Ninja stickers. And he's he's kind of meant to be, you know, pin up, but he could really go in other things though. This is what I feel like makes him more pin up y is that he's got these little lines on his sides, and then he's got a little booty going on back there. Just a little bit. So, but I love him. He's probably the closest thing to a nice pinup that I want to see. I want to see something tasteful. So I'm really excited. I would actually paint this and put this into a scene. Yeah. <laughs> well, he could be a cowboy. Yeah, why not? So that's by Frozen Ninja. So um, he also made some, so I've got two of these. So I may paint one and give one away. We'll see if uh, any of our any of our fans are interested in that. And then I also have some itty bitty ones too. I don't even know. Tiny bitty, itty bitty, look at how little compared to my thumb. I'm not sure what you would use this for, maybe a train set, but <laughs> it's still pretty cool that he could do different sizes. Yeah, I believe he, just contact Frozen Ninja and see. Check to see if he'll, he'll, he'll sell you any. Absolutely. Whew. Walked into me saying booty. It's going to be one of those days. Uh, not, no, not anymore. <laughs> it would be if we were painting that, but we're just, I was just showing them off. I want to show you. So I want to ask you guys. I, I went ahead and I painted the gold from this um, box set without you guys because it was very detailed and very tedious. And I thought I could show you a little bit on this side. But I also, I want to get ahead and start painting on the coat and everything of our Captain Ahab. So I'm going to give you guys a choice. Because um, the non-metallic metal, you know, I mean, it's really tedious. And, you know, I want to show you some of it. Maybe I could just do like a little piece. And, you know, you can get how I do the rest. But I'd rather, I'd rather move ahead and, and start working on the coat. So what do you think? Yeah. <laughs> or, or we could work on the face or the pipe, whichever one you guys think might be a little bit more interesting. It'd be interesting. Yeah, I'm interested in doing the body too. So I think that's what we're going to do. And you already know that I have my colors all chosen. Yeah. <laughs> the, um, the, all the colors are on the back of the Scale 75 box, and that's what I've pulled all those out. And I'm gonna basically deconstruct what Julio Cabos did. He's the one who did this awesome Captain Ahab box art. So I'm gonna look, and it looks to me like his, let's see, it looks like abyssal blue and a little bit of Adriatic blue and definitely some Arctic blue. It looks like there's some red that's brown. Let's see, I've got more colors over here. Ah, here we go. I think he was using some black leather for sure. I think actually black leather may be the base because I'm looking at it and if you look at all the shadow colors, it's kind of reddish. And that's, black leather is a little bit reddish. Let's, let's start with that. And I think he's wet blended quite a bit of it as well. So we're gonna attempt to do some wet blending. I'm gonna get out a little bit of this African shadow as well. What else have I got? I think that's it. I think that's all we need for the coat. Face please, you wanna see the face? Okay, we'll do, we'll do some face. We're, we're definitely gonna do all of it at some point. So, you know, and I'm gonna keep doing these this particular bust on Tuesday, or sorry, Mondays and Fridays. So it'll always be for your time. You won't miss things. That's my hope anyway. Miso, so polite. Did they get more votes than the rest of us for saying please? Aw. <laughs> I think we're gonna do code, I'm sorry. <laughs> It'll just, this way it'll make the whole bus progress faster and I'll be more, you know, more involved and more interested. All right, so let's see, this is black leather and I think I'm gonna start, I've got black leather on my brush right now and I'm just gonna push it into the shadows to start. See wherever I've got my little 
shadows there. And while it's still wet, I will go ahead and blend the blue down on top. All right, now it's time to rinse brush. Get a little abyssal blue on my brush. See this? Brush that right over the top. You're just kind of mushing the colors together with the brush. See that? Yeah, that doesn't look bad. I'm going to get some more of this black leather and stick it into the crevices here. Oh my gosh, thank you, Terillion, for the cheer. How are you? So that, there we go. When you mix those two to together, you get that nice dark color also. So I'm just going to press a little bit of this. See how that gets lighter? I don't know if you can even see that. It's kind of, kind of dark. All right, now let's look at the back. Do the blue on top this time. You can do it back and forth. Yep, that's working for me. Let's do a little bit of this Adriatic blue. It might not work. It might be too bright. Maggie, Maggie, or Maggie 150. Thank you so much for the follow. Let's go ahead and go over the top of that crease. While that's still a little wet. Eh, I think I'm doing it right. That's the thing with wet on wet. You could be pretty close. There we go. Doing good. Long time since you caught me on this time slot. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess so. I'm doing wet blending, so I'm using like three colors right now to get my effect. I know I again right now I'm not sure how we're gonna turn out, but I'm hoping for the best. Let's see. Let's look at the cover. Okay, so he's got a little bit of blue on the edges there. I'm going very fast with this, and you have to when you're wet blending so that, you know, stuff stays wet. That's not bad. Stick the red back down in there. And, and also, you need it very creamy. That's the other thing. You're not glazing at all. Oop, that was supposed to be brown. Okay, that's all right. We'll get it. Looking good as it's drying. Can you see that? <laughs> no. Oh, it's all right, Miso. Okay. Again, where all the shadowed parts are, I'm trying to put the reds, and then I'm going to go over that with the blue right here. Whenever I'm painting, I do like sort of a WWJD. What would Julio do? Hachi, welcome. Thank you so much for following. How are you doing? All right. Red's in the crevices here. This is good music to paint fast to, by the way. We just got some new music. I'm testing it out before I launch it off to my pals thank you so much steve ama texas i really appreciate that cheer we need more blue <laughs> so did anybody go to see venom this weekend i saw it with mike and i thought it was hilarious Art of Mike Disney, thank you so much for the subscription. Four months. Oh my gosh. 
We're doing some wet blending, so I'm not writing down names today. It's it's like there was too much chaos in the beginning of the stream, and I'm all like off my game. But that's okay, because you're here now, and that's awesome. Let's do a little bit of the Adriatic on the corner here, just to highlight a little bit. Blendy, 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 wet blend, wet blend. Juju, ju, ju, ju. little bit here, little bit there. I see it needs a little extra. See, I'm using straight paint. No, oh, that's 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 not coat right there. Got to make sure I get the coat, not the not the belt, not the. There's like this uh, leather part right here. I don't want to paint that. You're right about the cutoff barrel. Look at the whole ab mini. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. The whole air mini. <laughs> right. Let's do the blue on top. Oops. Whoa. Drop my brush. Get some on there. I'm trying to poke it. I see some like areas that are not paint. There we go. Now I can get the Adriatic blue. Cause I do see that. It's good to see me wet blend because it's something that you wouldn't believe was this fast if you didn't see it, right? Now I'm using a number two. This is a big brush. I want to be able to keep paint wet on my brush, which is, this is wet blending. You need to, you need to have wet paint. Hey, Mark Disney, I'm good. We had some snafus earlier in the stream, but I think things are better now. It was just kind of crazy. I had some sound issues. There we go. Let's get the Adriatic blue right here. That's a little too bright. Yeah, it's um, so this is Abyssal Blue with black leather, and then the highlight is the Adriatic Blue. So it's those three scale 15, scale 08, and scale 32. I'm gonna put that gun over there before something happens to it. All right. And then we're wet blending, so that way we're getting we're getting all the you know paints mixed on the mini. I'm having to go back over some of the spots. I tried to tried to wet blend the Adriatic, and it just didn't look right to me. A little bit more red right here in the arm. All right, watch what we do again. <laughs> hey, Ray Silver, how are you? Oh, on the the figure on their website, not the body you're holding. Oh yeah. <laughs> it has been a while, Ray. Is this the same Ray that I know from from Facebook? I think I think it's who I think it is. Not bad, Shoshi. You've, you haven't seen me since Gen Con. Oh, that's okay. I totally understand. Gen Con was busy, wasn't it? All right. Before I get too far, I'm gonna start with the blue because I don't want this red drying on me. There we go. Mush it, mush. <laughs> the 
this really is good music for for feed painting huh well that also gives me hope that you guys will be um i like to stay interested in my paintings and sometimes i get bored with my own stuff there we go all of this is going to be red back here red 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 See if I can get some of that in there red. Let's move these. There we go. More blue. It's, it's coming out. It's looking a lot like, look, it looks a lot like it so far. Hard to say. Do I attend any cons in Europe? Um, I don't, but it doesn't mean I'm not going to. I'm hoping to be at World Model Expo in 2020. Um, I'd really like to go to like Essen and Spiel, um, you know, some of the cons in Germany and uh, like Duke of, Duke of Bavaria. Um, but yeah, I mean, Maybe if I get a bigger fan following and uh, who knows what happens, you know, maybe it'll happen. But I would like to. I want to go to, I also want to go to um, Monte San Savino. That's another one I want to see. You going to hang with me and Mark, Mike Disney? Absolutely. Absolutely. Lone Wolf 2K1, thank you so much for the subscription. 12 months in a row. Holy cow. That's amazing. Has it been that long already? All right, we, we're getting a lot of this coat done already. Isn't it crazy? I'm just going back over and I'm just touching spots that look like they need extra color. All this back here needs to be the red. Yep, yep, yep. There we go. Right, right there. All right, let's try seeing what happens when we do a little highlighting now with the uh, Adriatic. Dragonfall is also coming up. Yes, that's in Elmhurst, Illinois. We'll be going to that. Uh, that's the last, that's where I met, um, that's where I met Lone Wolf. Okay, so I'm mixing Adriatic with my Abyssal Blue. Now I'm looking at the box art and I'm just gonna pick out, that's way too blue. Let's go lighter. Yeah, that's much better. Much, much better. This whole, this whole cuff right here can be lighter. I'm gonna turn this music down just a skosh. There we go, much better. All right, and this little bit. Hello, Amberden. Great blending. You're distracted by it, so no painting of your own. <laughs> You could have a Euro Shoshi Con? Oh my gosh. Don't, oh, I don't, I wouldn't, <laughs> you can put it together. I don't think I have the organization skills to manage something, something so big. I don't even know if it'd be big. It'd probably be like five people. <laughs> that would be cool. I would really like to go to Europe again. We were in Germany and Austria and, uh, I'm going to get a little bit 
heavier with my shadows here or with my highlights. I've got I'm using too much water as part of my problem. It's it's getting soupy. Soupy. Okay, let's do a little bit of highlighting up here. Blend it into the into the blue. See how it looks when it dries. You're gonna creep on people <laughs> at, at Adepticon, Mike. That's funny. All right, more more blight, more lights. There we go. Better, better, better. Hmm. Okay, now I'm gonna go heavier with my highlights. I need to get this edge right here. See what I'm doing? What are we doing with our light here? There we go. I think I went too too light up on my. Can you guys see okay? Hold on. Oh, there we go. Not bad. We'll fix it. All right, light. Now I'm blending in with the blue. And I'm going to feather it just, just right on the edge here. Yeah, that looks good. Can you see that? Could work. You could ask the likes of Flixer to throw in and draw more of a crowd if you or con concerned by people not attending. <laughs> Maybe Flick can, cause he, he had a Swedish people's con. Maybe he could have like an American people's con and then have people over to London where he is. I don't know, I don't wanna put that bird in his ear. Somebody else can do that. So funny. There, looking good. This coat is painting up super fast. That's what I like about wet blending is super fast. I need to take my glasses off. All right. I'm gonna hit these little highlights over here. There we go. That's looking good. Happy. Sometimes I have to take my glasses off in order for me to see what I'm doing. All right, more highlights on these folds, having a mix of a mix of the Adriatic and the ooh, and I'm getting too much, too much. Is it? Garadios, thank you so much for following. You sound like the Pokemon. How are you? Welcome to the stream. We're doing wet blending right now. Shoshikan. <laughs> Austria, Vienna. Mike would absolutely kill to go to Vienna. So if you wanna, if you wanna try to make a Shoshikan happen in Vienna, I think that would be something I would probably be more likely to get to go to. <laughs> I think that's that sounds like a plan. I have some friends in Vienna too that might be able to help. Marcus uh, from Democus's Miniatures. Mm. 
right over here. Getting all the highlights, it's making the depth. Oh, I love it. Then we can add a little bit more as we go. Add a little bit more reds to deepen our shadows. Add a little bit more highlight. Looks good. I see it, it's coming up. Look at that. And it feels like it's made of some kind of, you know, heavy material already. Okay. I think that might be good enough. Because we can always, we can always um, work on it, right? You can always deepen up everything. But that's probably a good start. Let me see if I can... Ooh, that might be too bright. Yeah, we need to get the reds back in there. Now the blues again for our mid, mid tones. That's gonna look good. See that? A little bit of blue up here with the Adriatic. Bazinga. <laughs> this is really fun, by the way. I want to say, if you're gonna if you're gonna paint something wet blended, do it like this, cause this is fun. All right, a little bit of more Adriatic color right here, and just need to get this highlight. See how I'm mopping my brush down a little bit. I'm gonna do that with my finger just to kind of tap it get that color blended in at this point I'm just touching up areas that did not get enough paint on them mostly on the highlighted areas it looks like which just makes sense because maybe it's a little bit more transparent go in there with the reds in here Awesome. Oh my gosh, another follower, Miss Mystique Marina. Thank you so much for the follow. Cool. It's less than 200 miles from where you live. Awesome. <laughs> Scale 75 would not probably do that, Ash Kedlane. Nah. It would be nice to do something in Spain, but I'd, I think other companies might be more likely to get involved. <laughs> All right, so that's that's the coat. That's that's about done. We can take um let's let me see if I got a little bit of red. I can see the little spots here that need some shadow. One right here. That's about it. I think I think that's good. Take a little bit more of this blue up here. All right. Hmm. I feel like there's something missing in these colors. This needs red for sure. There we go. Let me try. A little bit of brown. I feel like 
there's something missing like over here this seems like it's got a little brown to it maybe not it does have something maybe let's try there we go I mixed a little bit of the brown with a little bit of the ivory a little ivory and a little bit of oh geeky girl you geeky mcfan girl thank you for the host oh my gosh how are you and i don't think we followed you before let's see who is geeky mcfan girl let's see if we can follow you back Oh, I don't see you're on in this in the stream yet. We'll have to wait. <laughs> well, thank you so much for the host. That's very appreciated. For sure. Oh, there we go. Yes. So there is a little bit of this cream, a little bit of the ivory with a little bit of that brown. Just to give it. Yeah, that works. It's just to give it a highlight but not kind of like a dirty highlight if that makes sense so it's not super pigmented see that and it's only in a few spots let's see how that pops boom yeah do the back as well probably why it's on there just to give it that extra pop the shoulders I forget this shoulder and I've been missing it I gotta feather it so that it's more blended Ugh. too much water becomes a mop gotta Push all the paint to the side there. All right, I think I'm done with the coat. Let's look at the scarf. Um, all right, so I've got for colors, I've got this one and I've got this one. And I feel like there's some of this mixed in as well because it's sort of a dull, it's not a bright red at all. Let's try these three. And then this one for sure, red leather. I think this is actually the base. The red leather is the base with a little bit of blue in it. All right, so let's take a peek at that. So did anybody else see Venom? Nobody said anything that I know is faded red, yeah. I'm gonna start with this color. And then I'm going to highlight up using my same wet blending. It actually might be, hold on. Nope, it's not orange. I thought it was orange, but it's not. It's definitely red. All right, I've got to take glasses off for one second because I got to look at there's an edge over here that's very dark. I'm going to use a little bit of the black leather for that dark edge. It's not dark enough. And the same thing, I'm going to flip it around, paint this black leather on the side here as well. Get into all the little press creases and stuff. Yay, we got a new follower. TDCS01, thank you so much for the, f oh, the subscribe. Oh my gosh, thank you for subscribing with Twitch Prime. So guys, I forgot to mention, we're doing a sub, sub drive right now. 
And for every six points that we have, which we currently have 218 out of 225 points. So for every six points that we get, we get a new, we get to give away a mini. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six. So that was one for sure. Let's see. Yep. 25, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So we need seven more points to unlock the next emote. And that's like one tier three subscription plus one more subscriber. Or we have, or seven more tier ones, which would be awesome. Because then the whole chat would get an extra emote. We'll see what happens. It'd be awesome. All right, so we're painting away. We're trying to wind blend. I need to keep the paint more creamy than this because see how that's really light? It needs to be darker. This whole part right here is that same consistency. It needs to be heavy. And I'm painting the scarf before I'm painting the rest because um, this is all going to go over the top of the scarf if I mess up, so... That makes sense. We got some chat, looks like. You don't go to the movies. We only watch your streams. Aw, that's so cool. <laughs> that's really neat. So where, what country, may I ask, are you from, Miso? Are you, and obviously, you said you're in Europe. You don't have to say if you don't want to. There we go. I love, um, love other countries and other, other uh, cultures outside of my own. All right, now I'm gonna take, what happens if I take this and this? Um, nope, it's more of a, it's more of a reddish color. What color is this? I'm pretty good at matching colors. So, all right, I mixed a little bit of orange leather with a little bit of this red leather. That's the red leather and a little bit of ivory to get sort of more of a pastel. It's pretty close. Check this out. Yep, that I think that's it. Now I'm just going to go over all of my highlights where I'm attempting to highlight anyway. And the reason why he, ch I can tell Julio was thinking in terms of contrast, this orange is gonna contrast more than if you went with a straight red um, on the blue. So that's why he chose this color because it'll, it's gonna look, gonna look better than if he just chose a straight up red. See the orange and the blue are complementing each other. And then the reds in the scarf are pulling up the reds in the coat. That's why I like, like I said, if you, if you ever get a chance to de deconstruct one of your favorite artist's pieces, you're going to learn so much and you're going to figure out, okay, why did they do that? And then you're going to be able to do it on your own at one point. Okay. So I got to let that dry. Let's check chat. Slovakia. Oh, that's so cool. So we just met some Austrians. They live on the border of Slovakia right in a, in a university, they go to university there. And um, they said that if we ever want to visit Southern Austria, that we should go. So that sounds like it's really close to you. <laughs> That's pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna choose a little bit more ivory now to go even lighter. See? still wet so it's still wet blending just a little bit and since this is a scarf it's okay if there's a little bit of yeah I can tap on the edge of that okay if there's some little brush lines because I want it to look like it's woven Yeah, we had some, oh, that was what we did this weekend, as well as my, my anniversary, is we have, we live in a big university town, and Mike met these kids. They are going to the university, 
and um, in an exchange program. And two, three of them were from Austria, and one of them was from Argentina. And so I got to I got to practice a little bit of my Spanish and my my German at the same time. That was pretty cool. My Spanish is not so great, but all right. So watch this. I'm going to tap in almost like a little pulling it in the direction of the fibers and then I'm tapping this part to give it there we go that's getting lighter it's still not quite right I'm missing something and I don't know what it is Hmm, I think I'll try this. I'll try the deep red. This is deep red. It's actually, it's not that, oh, it's nice. Let's try it. Yeah, maybe this is it. It needs just a little, a little pop over the top of this color right here. That's it. Pop, pop, pop. Oh my gosh, I, I love it when it, um, plan comes together. That's an A-team reference. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Boom. I did it. Color match. Mostly. Looks like it needs to go even lighter. But I'm pretty happy with it so far. Can you guys see? It, it needs to go up even higher. Hmm. Let's see, how can I add ivory to this? Let's see. Mm, I'm not so sure that might need a glaze of orange again over it. I'm gonna check chat. Looks like there's lots of people talking. Sorry, you missed the part about your friend's unintentionally muted headphones instead of increasing volume. <laughs> Yeah, mostly, exactly. So I was just saying that um, we had some friends over for dinner and they were from they were from the border of Austria and Slovakia. So they, were, they sound like they're right by you. Is it time for stretch break? Holy cow. It is. Okay, give me one second. I'm going to finish this part because I forgot this part of the scarf down here. There we go. Anyway, there's a good chance that we will go and they said we could visit them and stay with them. It'll probably be only a few hours from you. Okay, that's looking really, I'm really happy with how this is looking. It's just still not. I'm going to try a little bit of yellow and see what happens. Is that it? In, instead of cream, I used yellow. And let's see if that's going to get this to be brighter. It's getting lighter. Still not exactly a color match. But it doesn't look terrible yet. Yet. Notice I said yet. Okay. Getting better. I still don't have... Let me try the glaze of the orange over the top. Meh. Nope. Why? not it I don't think I need to I need to call Julio <laughs> actually that's not that's not terrible not terrible 
I need to give me a second. I'm going to do a stretch break and I'm going to take a look at this with my glasses and see if I can figure out what it is. Let's do the stretch break. Okay. Oh. Let me see. Actually, it's pretty dang close. It's pretty dang close. We'll show you on the on the screen. Hang on a second. I'm tangled up in my in my mic wire. All right, overhead. The board is like 20 miles. Thank you for repeating. Worked all night. Ah. Uh, <laughs> so that's pretty. It's getting closer. Let's do the waistcoat and see if that might be affecting the color. Because sometimes what colors are next to changes things. Okay, so let's see. I think the base color is gonna be a mix of browns. I'm mixing, yeah, I think it's this color. I mixed, so here's what I mixed. I mixed brown leather with, where'd it go? Not that one, this one. With Ab Arabic shadow. Aw, Jonah Steroid is now following. Thank you so much, Jonah. Wow, oh, and we just had TTC, let's see. Lone Wolf's already been subscribing. Mike of Dark Disney already subscribed. Okay, so we're good, we're good. All right, I'm gonna put this on here. This is that brown color that I think I, I think I matched. Yeah, we'll get that on there. A lot of wet blending on this guy. See, that did change it a little bit. Not a lot, but it did change it a little bit. Helping me see it. All right. So what's next? We gotta do um, a little bit of y yellow. It's a little bit of Tenere yellow. I'm gonna show you on my palette. So a little bit of this yellow right here. And a little bit of this color. Yep, that's the color. A little tiny bit of orange. There we go. And I'm gonna wet blend it right on top in a in a patterny way. Patterny way? Is that a word? Put those down the front there. Trying to catch the little little wrinkles and stuff that's in here. And highlight up there. Highlight up there. Okay. I feel like it needs to be even lighter in some spots, but that's good enough. Now I'm gonna go back in and wet blend in my shadows that I had because I feel like I'm, I lost some of them a little bit. Yeah, that does look nice. And then, that's it. It's looking like Ahab. Look at that. <laughs> okay. What should we do next? The belt? I think I feel like I need to keep working on this because it's not right. Let's try yellow. Yes. All right, I got yellow mixed in with my red. Oh yeah, that's it, that's it. I think that's it. Let's do a little bit more yellow. Oh. Is 
see how bright that is? And we'll glaze over the top of that two steps up, one step down. I'm going to blend, 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 feather, feather, feather. I'm not to lick my brush. Do the same thing over here. Oops, still not light enough. Oh, it was the yellow. That's why, because I keep going back to the cream. It's like I'm intuitively going back to the cream and it's wrong. It's got to be yellow. It doesn't want to be cream. It does want to be yellow. All right, so that can dry and we can go over this with a little bit of this red again watch what happens glaze bam oh my god you guys I love it when I love it when this happens this is it look at that it was yellow okay so from now on I'm gonna put some yellow where I want my nice highlights. Let's see if I can tap, tap, tap. Get that texture. All right. Pop. It is um, not, it's not a, ta I don't know if it's a talent or not, but it's, it's a learned skill to be able to color match. It's something that I, I'm pretty good at and I've always been good at, but uh, I've done so much mixing over my entire life and done so much painting. You get a feel of knowing when when the temperature or the color is not right and so I kept fe feeling it's still not right see how high that is that's a that's a really high pink I think it needs to be fuchsia oh leopard F thank you oh what a sweetie a happy anniversary present I really appreciate that Oh, I just dropped all my paints on the floor. I'm going to try a little fuchsia this time. It's just still not quite. I'm seeing it now. Let's try mixing a little fuchsia with a little yellow and see what happens. It's really, oof, really high. Okay, let's see what this does. It needs to be even more yellow. Like a pop like that. See? going to be very harsh at first. Yeah. I think it still needs a glaze. Not a, not a lot. All right, let's see what happens when I glaze it again. I'm gonna try this with the red. Okay, I think we're finally getting it. Finally. That feels like the color. W.W. W. Julio do. Okay. Let's see if it matches now. It's much, much better. Look at that. We gotta let that dry, because stuff's not drying the same color as when it's wet, so that's throwing me off as well. Ah, cat hair in my mouth. You finally are getting your breakthroughs with your blending and flesh tones, thanks to watching me, and you still need to improve your smoothness and act. Uh, girl, I need to 
improve my smoothness and accuracy too. And I need to pick up my paints when they fall all over the floor. All right, here they are. I'm just gonna put the entire set that was on the back of this box on my ta desk right in front of me now. Hi, Jen Still Life Minis, how are you? It's good to see you. And Napster, how are you Napster? I know that like I hosted you the other day and you were like on your way out. Aw, yeah, of course. You're a good bloke. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm like picking up paints. They're all over my desk. Okay, we're ready. This is what we're working on right here. This is from the box art. We're kind of copying it. We're trying to copy it. Laser Pingu! Oh my gosh, Laser Pingu was one of the first um, international uh, Twitch people I met outside of like actual Twitch streamers. Thank you so much. Boris the Rat just subscribed. Oh my gosh, we we just got two people. Wait, oh, oh my gosh. Ashcad Lane just gave a whole bunch of subs away. Wow. Laser P Pingo, Boris the Rat, Apollonius01, Jonah Steroid, or John Ste Jonah Steroid? Jonah Steroid, Holtz Transistor. Oh my gosh, so that's five. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. That's that's it. That's it. We gotta give away. Oh my gosh. We gotta give away another another mini. Right? For some reason we're at 223. I think. <laughs> oh, Jonas Steroid, thank you for the cheer. Mixing and matching is really difficult, but fortunately you're master at it too. Awesome. Even a blind man could beat you. <laughs> Ooh, all the hype. Yay. So, okay. So I owe you guys a mini, but I don't have one to give away that is painted. Shall we give away an unpainted mini? Are you okay with that? Oh, there's another sub. There we go. Brent one underscore 27 so awesome so excited so what do you guys think we got another another subscribe holy cow are you okay i've got tons of unpainted minis do you want to do that give me some give me some love give me some mad love sub tober sub tober yeah <laughs> free stuff is great i've got some minis let me go see what I've got to show you. Hold on one second. I'll get some Dark Sword minis to give away. A, 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 oh my goodness, holy cow. Kairasi, thank you so much. So exciting. You just followed, that's awesome. Gotta get more scale 75 paints. They seem to blend so, they really do. They self-level, they're really gorgeous. All right, let's see, what do we got? We got an Easter bunny. We got, I'm gonna pick one I haven't opened yet. Oh, cool. Look at this one. Oops. This is the Penguin Thief. That one's pretty cool. Let me find one that's not open. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Let's do this one. I love him. The um, DSM 4620 Ari Birdman. It's a Birdman. He's like got a little staff, and he's absolutely go gorgeous by Dieter Lizzie. This is a Dark Sword Mini. We're gonna give, you want the penguin? Okay, let's do the penguin. We'll do, let's do both, you guys are so awesome. Where'd my penguin go? All right, we're gonna do both. We'll do two winners, okay? I'm going to set it up in, uh, in Streamlabs and I'll be right back, okay? We're gonna set this up.
Okay. Let's see. Am I still on? Okay. I want to give you a caveat. If you live outside the U.S., I just ask that you help me pay for shipping. It'll be, you know, probably under under twelve dollars or so. And if oh, you have to be a subscriber to enter. So this is a little gift that I'm doing for my subscribers because we've gotten sub points. These are this is a sub goal, so that's why I'm doing it this way. So if you have the little subscriber um, box by you, oh. Awesome, we see we got a new subscriber. Thank you so much. So that that adds another point to our thing. Every six points, I'm gonna give away some minis. So we've got lots to lots to give away. Awesome, that's so much, that's awesome. Ray Silver, thank you so much. Yay. <laughs> yep, all you gotta do is is type exclamation point raffle. You get one ticket. I'm gonna be right back. I gotta fix something on my screen here so I can see who is entering and everything. I'll be right back. Okay, this is so much fun. It does as a sub, so you don't see why it wouldn't. It does it as a sub. Twitch Prime should count. It does, it does count. Did it say you, and maybe you try to enter it twice, because it should count. Twitch Prime should, any, any, as long as you're a subscriber, it should count. So, <laughs> exclamation point huggle. Do exclamation point raffle. <laughs> so this is what we're giving away and I'll let the first and second I'll get let the first person choose um, which one they want and the second person can get the second one all right I'm gonna set those aside and then at the end of the raffle it should pick hopefully okay I'm gonna keep painting I'm so excited where's my brush did I drop it on the floor? I did. I dropped all of my brushes. Birdman. You like the Birdman. <laughs> yep. And I've got my cord all tangled. Hold on one second. All right, now, oh, I'm gonna use some of this star brown for the coat. I'm gonna use a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Cause I was thinking that this looked a lot. There we go, that's so much better. And it looks to me like he's got some micro texturing going on in here. That's that's too light or that's too much. No. We're gonna go in and fix that in a minute because it needs to be eh, actually not so bad. Not bad. The main thing is I want this to look like it's uh, creasing. It's got creases. Joshi hates her brushes. I keep throwing them on the floor. I don't mean to. <laughs> Treat them mean, keep them lean. Keen, yes, exactly. The penguin is even more adorable, but so is the Birdman. Go and check out, go to Dark Sword Minis and look online to see how cute they are online. Because I'm just putting a little blue cast shadow in there. I feel like I need a really dark brown now. What could I use? Um, I'm gonna mix a little bit of black with my brown to get a darker brown for the, the inside of this 
right here that needs to be dark yes that was the right color I'm gonna go ahead and make make my little pile of dark dark brown on here put that in there yeah I'm gonna go ahead and make these creases a little bit deeper. Yeah, on this side especially. That's not bad. You have some dark minis and you they yeah they do have some killer figures don't they all right i gotta take glasses off for a second because i gotta blend that a little bit squiggle that up in there same thing up here and then i can blend that All right, so we've got this dark color up here. It needs to go all the way around the edge of this fur. I guess it's like a wool. Real nice and dark up here. Now I'm gonna take the star brown, I think it's star, and a little bit of the regular brown. I'm just gonna Tap it. See, and then I need more star brown as we get lighter. The texture is already on the sculpt, so it's already going to look nice. Now, a little bit of the ivory on the edges here mushed into the star brown it will look like a highlight not too bad I think there needs to be a little bit more brown in the middle yeah that's not bad Ooh. Darkest part here. Now a little of the brown. Now a little bit of the thar. Oop, too much. <laughs> that there we go. See that? Mush it. Let's see what you guys are saying. You just got. <laughs> they do have a cool female dragonborn. You just got some to play for your D D and D characters. Awesome, dungeon dame. That's awesome. Do you run or do you just play? And what uh what what characters do you like to play the most? If you also play in addition to DMing. All right, ooh, looks good, it looks good. Needs more, needs more brown on this side, I believe. This side is getting more shadow from his hand and his pipe. See that? Now the thar. And a little ivory.
don't think I got enough ivory or the ivory looks too <coughs> it got a little too reddish Did my music cut out? Did we? Are we done with the stream almost? We are almost done. Let me do... Oh, we got a little bit more music left. Good. Just quiet. Look at how pretty that is. By the way, uh, Ray, I just want to say how happy I am to see you over here. I think it's been a little while. Look at that. That looks good to me. Okay, almost all browns down here. I'm going to have to go back and touch up. More thar. That's really dirty down here. There we go. Have you guys noticed that I really have been like a, a lot of wet blending on this whole thing? There we go. Oops. Got a little bit on his coat. You can always just go back in and fix it. Oh my gosh, I love it, love it. We got about 15 minutes left of the stream, so let's go back in and just touch up all the little spots back here. Now I gotta go in with the blues and the this part to just fix it. A little bit of that red. Make it look crisp. All right, in just a minute, I'm going to go pick the winner since we're getting so close to the end of our stream. The winners of the Pingu, of the Pingu, look at that, <laughs> of the peng Penguin Thief and the, uh, what was the other guy? The other guy was the, um, ah. Uh, and I'm blanking. The so Birdman. All right, Birdman and Pengu. Penguin. <laughs> I'll be right back. I'm gonna go pick the winners. You haven't you haven't started on your vampirus bust? Okay, good, because I haven't started on it yet. I'm actually I've started on it, but I haven't done the rest of the PDF for you guys. So as soon as I get that done, which I'm working on it this month, I will start um, I will start the the paint along, and we'll all work on that. Yeah, Pengu, I know if you win, it's rigged. All right, I'm going to go pick. I tr I trust me.
Okay, so Meg Payton's minis and Jonas Steroid. So Meg Payton's minis, I know, you win a lot, don't you? Do you want to give away your your choice or do you want to go ahead and, and take one of these? It's up to you. <laughs> Meg has won, won something from me in the past, so if she wants, I'm going to let her go ahead and choose. Um, but otherwise, I'll just send this, send her her choice. She get first pick, or you can you can choose to give give your your entry away. Pipe 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 pipe. <laughs> nice okay so you would really like a mini today all right which one do you want tell me which one you want you get the birdman or the penguin thief and then uh jonah Steri will get the other one i'm excited for you There's always the delay, the like a little bit of delay. Happy, hey Sarah, <laughs> thanks so much. We got a lot done. I mean, we got this like almost this whole bus done. Like, and we have to do the belt, and that's about it on this guy. Crazy. Penguin thief, awesome. I'm gonna write your name on the back here. So both of you guys um, message me, and this one is Jonas Steroid. Hold on, let me make sure I've got it right. Yep, Jonas Steroid. All right, and so message me and give me your information so I can send those out. So Jonas Steroid, you get the Birdman, which that's pretty exciting. All right, now we are going to look for somebody awesome, a host. Hold on, I'm gonna flip over here. John, St John Asteroid, okay. <laughs> Thank you, Inla Munis. I feel bad. <laughs> Love you guys too. Hold on, I'm gonna go ahead and type Madla. We're gonna go ahead and raid. Some po some people we love the raids. Okay, here you go. Yay! Have a lovely day, Holly Monster. Good night. You'll never know. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna see who else we can we can raid. If you've got some ideas, let me know. Otherwise, I'll pick somebody from my ma marvelous list of awesomeness. Oh my gosh, my friend Charlie, I think, hold on, is that Charlie T's plays uh, Syntropic Palooka Paints? Winter 13, J Studio, Art Vibes. What do you guys want to do? Let's see. Oh, cool. There's some really cool, there's a giveaway going on on Winter 13. So she's doing these art artist cards. They look really cool. I'm going to go ahead and post over to her. Oh, Studio J. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm going to do Winter 13 today, but let's. All right, so let's see. She's doing a giveaway that looks really neat. I think you're going to like this. All right, guys, mad love. And I will see you on Wednesday. We're going to be painting the rest of the Panda Mini, so stay tuned. And then we're going to paint more of this Mini, the one we worked on today, on Friday. All right. See you guys. Bye.